with Nikki Nicole. Happy Sunday unto you. Happy Father's Day to our fathers. I pray that you have a wonderful, blessed day. If you're a father figure, you're a spiritual father, godfather, whatever type of father you are, mentor, whatever, happy Father's Day unto you on today. I pray that you are blessed with so many things we honor you on today. Thank you for being good. Thank you for being responsible. Thank you for being a provider. Thank you for allowing God to use you to be the way maker for your family. We appreciate you. Happy Father's Day unto you. Well, it's time for another vlog welcome back to yet another lifestyle vlog y'all i just kind of come on here and tell y'all how good this coffee is this morning y'all see the caramel don't worry about it don't 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 worry about me i'm gonna be all right i got god don't even worry about it but y'all this coffee is so good it's so good this morning y'all i know that we like the new way of making coffee with the curing and different things and what would they call them coffee pods or whatever but y'all let me tell y'all something it ain't nothing like the old school way of making coffee you know like when you sleep early in the morning your grandparents you're at your grandparents house and you smell that coffee brewing early in the morning and back in them days it was no such thing as a curing y'all so I made coffee the old-fashioned way this morning. What is that sticking out my daughter's cabinet? Oh. Yeah. So, my daughter bought the Starbucks. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. The Starbucks pipe. Pipe place for... Ooh. Y'all, it smells so good, even just holding the bag, y'all. So I put the coffee in, you know, the old coffee maker. This is the coffee maker that I use right there. Y'all, and I went in there and took a shower and got myself together, and the coffee was smelling all over the house. When I tell you, oh my Lord, it smells so good. When I tell you this is a, the best cup of coffee that I have had in a long time, this is good. Now, it's going to cost you a pretty penny at the store. In the grocery store, but it's good, okay. It is worth it, and you don't need a lot of it because it is. It's this, this is the medium roast, but it's still bold, so you don't need a lot of it, y'all. You can get a lot of coffee out of this if you, you know, if you're doing a brunch or something at your house or somewhere. Get this right here, get this right here, y'all. And so, you know, I, you know, I, I'm a coffee maker, I ain't made a cup of coffee in a while, y'all. So, well. I made coffee, but I ain't, ooh, y'all, when I tell you this tastes so good, this tastes so good, y'all, it tastes really good. I just wanted to come on and tell y'all that and start the Sunday vlog again. I'm Nikki, I'm Nicole. If you're new to the channel you're watching me for the first time, hey, y'all, go ahead and hit a like button, comment down below and tell me where you're watching from, and nevertheless, go ahead and become a part of the life family. We would love to have you over here. Turn that red subscribe button gray and come become a part of the family. You know you want to be in this family because we're going to do some things. We're doing some things over here. You, you missing out. I'm telling you, you're missing out. You're missing out. You're missing out on that encouragement, the love, and all of that good stuff. But anyway, you guys, not much planned today. Um, my spiritual father is in Louisiana, um, so you know definitely I'm going to call him and wish him a happy Father's Day. But my biological father is deceased. He's been deceased since I was nine years old. And I don't have a stepfather or anything like that. My children's father... God's still working on me. He's still working on me. But I'm going to wish him a happy Father's Day. Other than that, I have nothing planned. I'm quite sure my children probably are going to go spend the day with their father. So I'll probably just be chilling. But at least I get to talk to y'all this morning and tell y'all how good this coffee is. The caramel and the grip shot. Oh, to God be the glory. Yeah, anyway, I'm just in a good mood this morning. Yesterday, I kind of was like a little cranky, a little just, I don't know. I, I think I was up on a 
some type of depression on yesterday, you guys. I got up and I did my prayer time, but I just, I didn't do, I honestly, y'all, sit around in my gown all day till about five o'clock. I got up and started washing clothes, washing all the clothes and stuff like that. But y'all, I just wasn't feeling it yesterday and I was beginning to get discouraged because it's like, you know, I'm trying to get these vlogs out. You know, I'm doing, a, I'm in the middle of doing a vlog dump right now and I'm trying to get caught up as fast as I can. And, you know, I just got to, I just got to perfect, you know what I'm saying? I got to sit down, take my time and figure out how to do these things where it's not so hard. You know, creating content is hard with all in itself, but it's discouraging when you're trying to upload and stuff like that. Y'all know the deal. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, you guys, just yesterday, I was like, I was talking to the Lord, and I was like, Lord, you know, it's like something's blocking me. Why, why, why am I not moving forward? And all I kept hearing him saying is in my timing. It's in my timing. What you rushing for? I'm going to get you there when I'm ready for you to be there because you got to be prepared for where I'm trying to take you. And I just got to remember that, y'all. I just got to remember that. But this morning, I got up in my prayer time. I've been studying. I'm reading a book. Currently started reading a book today that I've been saying I'm going to read. Y'all have books that I've purchased and I ain't even never opened. So, <clears throat> I have been, just to be transparently honest, I have been, I guess, for the last past year, a little bit over a year, it's like this laziness has been up on me and like i said i'm gonna do something and never do it in my mind be like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it when i know anything so much time has passed by and i have and i have yet to do it like reading you know and i've been praying i've been like god you know what is this what is this spirit of laziness it's just like i can't break it i can't break the connection what is this on me you know that it's just like sometimes i just don't want to do nothing like what is this this is not me i don't want to be this way and i keep and I keep, you know, you know, confessing it to God, you know, and I was, and when I got a shower this morning, and after I got dressed and everything, I was picking up my clothes to, to bring them and put them in the dirty clothes, and when I, get, I got ready to walk out the door, I heard the Lord say, it's not laziness, it's some type of spirit of depression that's on you, that does not want to disconnect itself, so y'all, they always say, you know, therapy is good, y'all. So I'm gonna get out here. I have been seeing it since I wanna say December, January or so, that I'm gonna go to a therapist, y'all, because I went through something this last past year that really, really, really traumatized me. I don't speak on it a lot, but it still bothers me, y'all. And like I I can't really just go into it because I don't want to open up that wound, y'all. But I need to really heal. I've been doing the work. You know, I stopped journaling. I'm going to be honest. I was journaling. I was writing letters to my my future husband. I was, you know, writing letters to myself. I was writing letters to God, y'all, and I just completely stopped. You see what I'm saying? The inconsistency. I don't want to be an inconsistent person. See, this over here in a life family... We're going to be transparent. And I don't want to be that inconsistent person. And it's bothering me so, y'all. It's bothering me so. And it's just like ever since I, this situation that happened in my life, it's just like I can't get on track. Like, it's like I'm on and off and I'm on and off. And I keep saying, God, what is it, you know? And, you know, I say, I, I trust you, Lord. I, I'm focusing everything I can with everything within me on God so that he can lead my path y'all but when I tell you it is hard when you don't know when you don't know when you trust in God when you don't know y'all seen that TikTok um when they said you know a lot of people do the TikTok and they say when you trust in God and the man say where you going I don't know who going with you I don't know whoever come you know well, what y'all want to eat I don't know I'm hungry I guess you know it's just like that's where I'm with where I am you know and it's just like okay God I know you destined me for something. I know you dest I know he destined me to speak to younger ladies. That's always been my thing. That's all that's all that's been around me. That you know, even now, God got me placed right here in Dallas, Texas, at my daughter's house for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. He put us at a standstill for a reason. He said, Wait, I ain't ready yet. I need you to go there. And I need you to, you know. Set a foundation there. I had to come in here, y'all. I had to pray. I had to come in here. My daughter was out of town. She still don't know right to this day. It was out of town last week. I walked this 
this apartment, y'all. And I'm knowing that I didn't have no oil. But I, I played the blood of Jesus over this whole entire place of residence where she lives, y'all. Our children are perfect, but it's not for us to condemn them. Wherever they are in life, it's, it's up to us to lift them up in prayer, keep them lifted up in prayer, thanking God for their covering and the blood and how he covers them. And, and trust and believe that God is going to bring him, bring them out in his time. And pray that God gives them a willing heart. Don't condemn them. Don't talk down to them. But be the, be the loving, nourishing that they need. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't even know how I went there. But I guess I just wanted to share where I am in life right now. Be transparent. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. You know, the highs and lows. I was listening to Peach um, yesterday, her live, and how, you know, the highs and lows of life, how, you know, how transparent she is. You know, a lot of things we don't share on here, but I never, I would never get on here and lie and pretend that I'm somewhere that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because that's not what it's about. It's about real life with Nick and Nicole. It's my real life. This is my everyday life. You know what I'm saying? So, I just had to, you know, I guess rejuvenate myself this morning. And even though I cried out to God, I, it, when I go into prayer, that's my thing, y'all. When I go in, I'm giving it all that I got. And yesterday, I was giving it all that I got. My daughter came in from work. I was laying prostrate on the floor, tears rolling down my face, sliding everything. It, it still got up in a spirit of depression, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in this low spirit, you know, because... Where I, sh where I feel I should be, I'm not, but I'm where God want me to be at this moment, and I have to realize that, and I have to walk in that, y'all. I ain't mean to bore y'all patience and y'all time, but this is where God is leading me today, and maybe what I'm saying may help someone else. We're not perfect. We don't have to act like we're perfect. That's why God chose us, because we're not perfect. And he's there to perfect us in his time. And you know what I'm saying? So hold your head up. Hold your head up. I'm a living witness. There are going to be good days. There are going to be bad days. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down. But that's why we depend on God. That's why we depend on his Holy Spirit, the love of Jesus, to replenish his joy in us when we, when we run low. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you go to the gas station, you run low on gas, and you're trying to refuel, refuel and you might not have enough money to refuel. But don't, do you know that God, unlimited joy, his joy, his love, his kindness is unlimited for us? So even on our worst day, even on a day when we're feeling low, he will rejuvenate us. And that's all I, I, I just want to say this morning, y'all. Coffee talk. <laughs> oh, we just got another episode on our channel. Mm, coffee talk. How about that? But anyway, you guys, you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Remember, I am Nikki. I'm Nicole. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and become a part of the Life Family. Would you please become a part of the Life Family? We can really use you over here. We can really love on you over here. We can really motivate you to be the best that you can be. I love you guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday again. Happy Father's Day to my fathers. Peace out. When I made you